correct grooming is absolutely required by the standard. Even the thickest coat must be totally free of mats all the way to the skin. Sculpturing, scissoring, stripping or shaving are totally contrary to breed type. They are serious faults. A minimal amount of tidying may be done to the feet. Hair between the toes may be trimmed level with pads, but should not be stripped out from between the toes. The Tibetan Terrier should be shown naturally, clean and brushed. The Tibetan Terrier may or may not be shown with a part over the neck and back. This part is optional. The part should not extend over the foreface to expose the eyes as demonstrated here. This is faulty. This adult's heavy coat has separated by itself into a part over the foreface. Note that the eyes remain covered. Color in the Tibetan Terrier is not a consideration in judging the breed. These are just a few of the many Tibetan Terrier coat colors and patterns. This variety is one of the breed's most attractive features. All colors and color combinations are equally correct, and no color or combination of colors is preferred. The Tibetan Terrier must move freely and effortlessly with a characteristic lightness and spring. He must have good extension in front, in balance with a powerful rear drive. The flat foot affects the Tibetan Terrier's gait, more easily seen on this clipped down dog. The back pads of the foot strike the ground first like a human heel, and the weight rolls forward. Seen from the front, the forelegs reach well forward in a straight line, although the legs will tend to converge towards a single track at faster speeds. The breed's agility is demonstrated in the lightness and elasticity of the rear drive. Note the powerful push and follow through. Rear legs also tend to converge to a single track. What about this dog's gait? This dog has no reach or drive. He takes too many steps. This dog is crossing in front which is faulty movement. This dog moves too close behind. Here again is good Tibetan Terrier gait. The back remains steady as the dog moves with no bounce or roll. The head and tail carriage are also correct. Both in structure and function, the Tibetan Terrier remains very much the mountain dog of Tibet. As you study and judge this breed, remember that the standard contains no disqualifications. Differences in style allowed by the standard are important to the Tibetan Terrier's heritage because they reflect the varying lives lived by herding and monastery dogs. The Tibetan Terrier standard strives to preserve these differences. The Tibetan Terrier has a wonderful, steady temperament. He is reserved and calm among strangers, and especially exuberant and affectionate with those he loves. The Tibetan Terrier is an intelligent and capable worker, but primarily an unsurpassed companion. Altogether, the Tibetan Terrier is a delightful dog who makes friends wherever he travels.